the market is at all time highs. So how do you trade a market that's at all time highs? So what could you do? You could obviously step in and you could buy along with everybody else. You could step in and you could ride the momentum, you could ride the wave higher, and you could say, man, this thing is just going to never stop moving higher. You could certainly do that. Or you could actually be strategic. You could actually take a strategic approach to this marketplace. And you could say, all right, I want to be bullish. I want to continue to play the upside, but I want to do so in a strategic way. I want to do so in a way that can improve my probability of success and lessen the downside if you're wrong. And that's what I want to show you guys how to do here today. So I am here in my Tastyworks portfolio. And what I'm going to show you guys how to do is a very, very broad overview of what is called a covered call strategy. And this is a very, very basic option strategy. So if you are brand new to the world of options, this would be an excellent way for you to transition into taking more of, you know, let's call it an active approach or a hands-on approach to your portfolio. So let's say you're talking about the SPY index, which obviously that's your S&P 500 index. And let's say that you own 100 shares of SPY. Whether you own them now or you're thinking about buying 100 shares, it doesn't really matter for the purposes of you know this example. So you go into the trade page and let's say... You know, let me close this up. Obviously, there's a lot of things going on here, right? So if you're brand new to options, I don't have an opportunity to explain everything that you see on the screen. But, uh, you know, some Googles here and there, some emails to me here and there, and you'll be up to speed in no time. But let's say that you're in the February option cycle, and you're here in the, you know, kind of the strike price menu, kind of the February options cycle menu. And here's what we're going to do. So Tastyworks makes it pretty easy where if you look right here, you can see they show you different strategies that you could choose. Like if I hit this drop down menu, you know, I could choose from a, a number of different strategies. The one that I want to focus on here today is the covered call. And here's what that's going to entail. You're going to buy or again, if you already own, you wouldn't you wouldn't then buy more shares, but you're going to buy 100 shares of SPY. And then you're going to simultaneously sell an out-of-the-money call. Now, I'm going to show you mechanically what that looks like without really explaining all the ins and outs. But then I'm going to explain how you end up with a probability of profit that is over 50%. Because no matter what anyone else wants to tell you, the market is truly random. Whether the stock prices go higher or lower, it's a 50-50 bet. It's a 50-50 proposition. Now, with the positive drift in the marketplace, maybe it's 52-48 or 53-47 to the upside. Whatever it is, it's pretty much 50-50. So, with that being said, here's what you could do. You click Go. It's going to set you up with a covered call strategy. So, you see in this scenario, what we're doing is you've got SPY trading at 274 and some change so let me actually let me let me erase that box let me add a new box or a couple boxes actually two so 274 and some change if you look down here this is actually what we're setting up we're long 100 shares we're short the 276 call this is effectively our purchase price and this is our probability of profit on the trade now I want to kind of I want to spend the next minute and kind of walk through each one of these guys very very briefly and so, I think I'm good. I just I just pressed something. Nope, I think I'm still, I should still be good. Okay. So, what I want to do is, let me see if I can't get this off the screen first. Yeah, I did something there. I don't know. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me, uh, my Spotify is jamming me up. All right, so now, now we're good to go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so what's going on? So, you've got SPY trading at 274 and some change. You're going to step in. You're going to sell the 276 call for $2.45. That's money that you bring in. That effectively reduces the initial purchase price of this position. That's why you see you effectively get to own SPY shares for 272.22 instead of 274.67. Now, right out of the gates, if that looks appealing to you, it should because that's pretty attractive, man. You're basically giving yourself a discount on the current price. 
your probability of profit is 60%, and here's the reason why. If SPY doesn't go anywhere, you're going to still have the shares that will effectively be unchanged, but you're also going to have this 276 call. It's not going to be worth anything. It's going to expire worthless. Now, again, I can't work through you know all the ins and outs of why that is worthless, but some of you with a basic understanding of options will understand you know why that's worthless because it's out of the money. So what does that mean? That means you get to keep this $2.43. So for a stock that didn't go anywhere on a 50-50 bet, you made money. Therefore, the scenario where the stock doesn't move is positive for you, which is why your pop is north of 60%. Now, what if SPY goes down? Well, if SPY actually falls, heaven forbid the market actually goes down, you're going to be in a situation where this $2.42 or whatever you sell this call for is going to act as a buffer to soften the blow of the losses that you're going to have to absorb on your long shares. That's pretty good. Now, what if the market actually continues to move higher? What happens is by selling the call at 276, you're basically drawing a line in the sand. You're deciding not to enjoy any further gains beyond 276. So that's that's kind of the, the trade-off here, right? For every give me, there's a gotcha. And here's the gotcha. To get the higher prop, to get the higher probability of profit, to soften the blow on the way down, to bring in the non-event where the stock doesn't move as a positive thing, you've got to be willing to give up unlimited upside. Now let me erase all these boxes really quick, and then we'll shut this video down. So some of you might be saying, Jim, 276, man, that's that's too close. I want to have more room. I want to have more room to be right in case SPY keeps going higher. Well, then that's fine. Just move this strike. Instead of 276, go to 277. Go to 278. Now, the trade-off is you're bringing in less and less for that short call. But you have more room to be right if the market does move higher. So there you go, guys. I mean, that's just a really strategic way. you got markets at all-time highs. If you don't want to get short, I'm, I'm with you, man. I understand. But at least do yourself a favor and think about limiting your upside. Think about putting the probabilities in your favor so that you can start to trade strategically just in case this market, market ever does fall. Because trust me, it's going to fall. Now, is it going to be tomorrow? Is it going to be next year? Is it going to be another nine and a half years from now? I don't know. And neither does anybody else. But when it does, you'll be glad that you took the time to learn something like a covered call. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Penelope, say thanks. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> if you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like the Facebook page or follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at jsholzf3, you know, whatever you guys can do, man, I really appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.